when I interviewed WAC 100, we talked about the whole situation about Eric Holder and Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. And what he said, you know, because a lot of people got on him over some of the statements he made about Nipsey. And what he said was, in the rules of the jungle, if you call someone a snitch who's a gangster, they're expected to retaliate. So he's not happy what happened to Nipsey, but he's also not surprised. Yeah. Over the situation. He also says something to the effect of how Eric Holder and Nipsey got into it a few days prior to the actual murder. You had made some comments, though, about Eric Holder. You said that this is what a gangster is supposed to do when someone calls him a snitch. I think I was interviewing with Reggie. Um, I don't know what podcast he was on. And he asked me what was my thoughts on it. And, you know, um, at the end of the day, the rules of the jungle is the rules of the jungle. Mm -hmm. You know, when you call somebody certain things, every action gets a reaction. And this particular individual, everybody knew dude was a rider. You know, they knew he was about that life. You know, you can't call a, a dude a snitch in his face and expect him not to respond. Now, I don't think I think Nipsey was might have been upset about something else because it really don't seem like him just to do that, but he did that. And it's no shock. It's like everybody's like, oh, shit, what happened? You know what happened a million times. Dude called him a snitch. He came back, he killed him. Well, I, I interviewed Cowboy, who was right there next to Nipsey when it happened. From what he saw, it wasn't like shitty cuz walked up to him. He's like, oh, you get your snitch ass away from me. It was... Hey, man, I've been hearing that you got some paperwork, so, you know, you should get that cleared up. It's like, oh, man, dudes are hating. It's like, yeah, man, just, you know, just get it cleared up. And they, they shook hands, and it, it was really from Did from he tell Cowboys. them same two dudes that just had a fight a week prior? What do you mean? This is what I said. Wait, say it again. I missed what you that said. Them same two dudes that just had a fight a week prior? The same two dudes? Yeah. You're talking about Cowboy? Shitty and Nipsey. Shitty Cuz and Nipsey Hussle got into a fight? They had a fight a week prior to that. I, I never heard that. Yeah, this is a fact. I'm not saying it's, it's not true. I just yeah. said I never heard that. Um, I mean, how do you feel about that? Like, if someone approached, you know, during the days when you were active and everything else like that, if someone approached you and accused you of snitching or asked you about snitching, would you react violently in that case? Are you expected to react that way? Uh, it, it depends on how the situation comes about because if your organization approaches you and says, look, we heard an allegation, we want to hear your side of it, and we want to get down to the bottom of it, they're giving you the opportunity to basically plead your case. And you might be able to politic yourself out of that situation. Um, when it comes down to prison, Normally, it's if you're going to expose somebody, you got to be the one that handles it, too. So, oh, he snitched on you? Well, go stab him. And then it's vice versa. Oh, he's saying you snitched? Well, you know what you need to do. It's not even snitching like you got gay rumors in prison. If somebody claims that you were doing something with somebody, even if you did it, you still got to go and hit that person that said that. And even if you did it, you're going to sway the crowd through violence. Mm. So you'll have situations where somebody might have snitched, but he just went and popped the shit out of dude that said it. And now everybody's rocking with him because he's the <laughs> last man standing. So it's like, you know, Wack isn't wrong with what he's saying. Um, It's just... People don't like the truth.